Nash, yeah, so what did you think about that drive, buddy? That was a long one, wasn't it? But, look, now you're on palm trees. Whoa. Whoa. boy. You happy to be here? All right, good talk. Hey y'all, we are Sean and Christina, and this is our therapy dog, Nash. We left our home in Nashville, Tennessee to travel the U.S. in an RV and shine a bright spotlight on the incredible work that therapy dogs do across our country. RVs are supposed to be on the tollways in Dallas. I didn't see any other trailer vehicles. <laughs> Okay, so on a scale from one to 10, how happy are you? I'm a 15. <laughs> <laughs> Me too. We love RVing. So far, I'm pretty sure that we're just fully yes. bought in. I've already been trying to think of how we're gonna raise babies one day yeah, on the we're road. Doing this forever. How we're gonna homeschool on the road. We love it. What's been your favorite part so far? Oh, well, I'd say by far this morning, which was cooking breakfast pizza on the big green egg. We had one of these at home and we had that for what, about five years, mm -hmm. six years maybe. Um, and it's by far the best purchase I've ever made in my entire life. We had <laughs> we had the big XL and I told Christina that when we did this, there was no way I could go a year without the big green egg. Like there was absolutely no way. <laughs> so I did a little research. And, so I'm like, oh gosh. Yeah. <laughs> so obviously that wasn't gonna fit because not only is it huge, but it's like a thousand pounds. <laughs> it takes four grown men just to lift it. But it's very true. we got um, the Mini Max, which is a smaller version and it's got a stand and you can put it in the truck. And uh, we got to use it this morning. And so Christina did an awesome job scrambling up some eggs and cooking some sausage. And then I threw the bacon on the egg, which so had like a really good smoke flavor to it, which was amazing. And then, yeah, we put some uh, croissants down and put the eggs on and the sausage and some gravy, gravy. and 
bacon. Top and bacon bits. Oh man, oh, so it was, good. my mouth is watering all over. I know. Again. We're gonna have a lot more meals on the egg, I can tell already, but. Stay what was, tuned, maybe we'll make some recipes. Yeah, what was your favorite part so far? Oh my gosh, I think so far my favorite part has been walking around with Nash. So, as everybody that has dogs knows, one, they're your children, and two, you meet so many cool people when you're out walking with them. And I love people and I love Nash, so it really goes That's well good. for yeah, us. Hand in hand. But we've met amazing people. Nash has met cats, which we don't have cats. So uh, this I is, think I think- he's only met one before. Yes, Anyways. at the vet. But yeah, he booped him right on the nose. He but was bouncing around, playing with him like crazy. It has been so sweet to watch him and just see kind of a new adventure through his eyes. Yeah. I think that's been really sweet joy that I knew to expect, but it wasn't until we got here that I really like felt it. Yeah. So I really loved that. Well, and that was kind of exciting to share some stories with Nash, but maybe we should give some background on Nash and introduce him when we got him. Oh my All gosh, this is one of my favorite stories. Nash was seriously the cutest puppy ever. And man, it was lucky he was cute. He still is cute, but it was lucky he was cute as a puppy because he was a handful. I will say, I think that Sean and I forgot how hard having a puppy was, but man, the second he came home, we remembered. He threw up in the car on the way home. Potty training was so hard. I felt like he was chewing everything in sight. I just totally forgot what it was like. But every single time I looked at him, my heart just wanted to melt into a giant puddle because he was so sweet, even though he was so crazy. It didn't take long for him to grow up and mature, but I think one of my favorite parts and one of my favorite stories about his puppyhood was when we went to one of our favorite parks one night. It was right before we went and met a dog sitter, but we went to our favorite park and Sean took Nash off of his leash to do some off-leash training with him. And instead of following us, Nash actually dove headfirst into the swamp pond at the park. And let's just say the stench on him was terrible. He was so stinky. We had to delay our, our meeting with the pet sitter and take him straight to the dog wash and give him two baths. Again, he was cute. But man, what a handful. And we could talk about him for probably a five hour yeah, episode. At least, which <laughs> we're gonna actually create an episode just for him with as he sees the world through his eyes, which is gonna be really cool. I'm excited yeah. for that. And we're gonna tell stories about him and really you will know who oh, Nash yeah. is by the end of that episode, oh, yeah. but more on that to come. But until then, we wanna tell you what's going to be happening here in Houston over the next couple of episodes. Yep. So we are actually meeting with a couple of incredible local therapy dogs here to spotlight their story and tell you what they do and how they serve the community. We are gonna be going out and serving with Nash in the police station and at a local school. And we are going to be hosting a meetup. So if you're here in Houston, check the Daily Barker Instagram at Daily Barker for all of the up-to-date info so that you can come. It's gonna be on Sunday, January 24th. Is it gonna be a potty? It's gonna be a potty. A potty. <laughs> <laughs> but we need to wrap up here because we are actually headed down to... Discovery Green. To go meet... Downtown Houston. I'm so yeah, excited. It's so our first excited. time in downtown Houston. Yeah. But we're going to meet Julie and Jackson the Dalmatian. If you do not follow him on Instagram. You have to. He He's is adorable. So I cannot cute. wait to meet him. He is so cute, but we can't wait. We're headed down there now. So let's pack up and yeah, head down. Let's rock and roll. <laughs> Daisies blooming. Sundress swaying in the breeze. I can't stop staring. You've put a spell on me And I hope That you never Decide to set me free The way you're moving It's got me moving my own feet The greatest feeling That I could ever dare to dream to me Let's not waste time or time
Hey, love. What are we doing? Well, I should well, say, what are you doing? For the first time in our journey, I'm actually headed to the airport to fly out somewhere. Mm -hmm. So it's a little nerve wracking because I've never left you alone with the RV. You, but luckily you drained all the tanks prior to leaving. Yeah, so I just drained <laughs> the black tank, which is the fun one. Got to see some cool stuff come out of that. Ew. Ew. <laughs> and then got the two gray tanks drained, so you should be good. I'll be gone for a couple days, but. I mean, you're the best. Unless, unless there's a lot of things, a lot of liquid going down into the tanks will be okay. Yeah. Uh, um, I'm so jealous though, but we're grateful because we're at a really, really nice RV park in Spring, Texas. Yeah. And there's so much community and they know you're leaving and they're going to make sure they're that Nashman... They're going to protect you. Yeah, they're going to make sure Nashman and I are protected. Yeah. But I'm excited because we're going to go, or I'm going to go, see our friends at Peak and Ruby and Thrive Life, which is also where we manufacture our treats yes. for Nashies. So I'm excited to go spend some time with them, really good friends, and uh, get to check in on a few things. And then I'll be back before you know it. Say bye to your boy. That's your boy. Okay. Oh, I'm gonna miss buddy. you, little man. I'm gonna miss you. I'm gonna miss you. You'll be good for mommy, okay? Look at his eyes. He's like, don't you dare leave me. Okay, here, I'll put the window down so you can see where you go. Love you. Love you. Bye, Nash. Uh, he hates when I leave.